This is the, okay, take two. <clears throat> this is the new prototype of the touring kit that I will use to reduce the size of my touring vehicle, <laughs> my touring vehicle, which has been the main reason why I can't go on tour is because it kills me to play such a giant drum kit like I used to have. So, I have taken the concept and slimmed it down a lot and added a lot of electronic reinforcement that I didn't really believe in before, but now I'm forced to believe in because it means the difference between touring and not touring. So as you'll see, I've got the same double bass setup that is accompanied by what I thought was a really clever move here, which is suspending a regular drum pad in front of the pad, uh, in front of the double pedal because my previous bass drum trigger is a piece of shit and it doesn't work right. So here are those electronic spikes that I will be using as uh, symbols and special effects and so forth. These are going directly into the uh, Alesis D4 drum brain and then I've got this which will double. I found that this is not going to be very good at doubling at as drums and a looping pad at the same time because when you play drums on it while it's looping it cuts the loop out. I can't figure out how to get around it but that's just the way it is. Uh, and then you got my cable hi-hat right here and my all-purpose 20 inch crash ride which will work basically I just don't like the sound of regular electronic crash cymbals and hi-hats and snares by the way that's why I got a real snare back in but I'll get back to that but stuff like chinas and splashes and ride cymbals are kinda cool I, I kinda like the right here I've got a a ping and a ting that you know I wouldn't be embarrassed to use those on stage so um then uh, we'll get back to what we added here. We'll took, we took this from over here, which is on the busking kit, and then put it here, which will double as a tom or a second snare sound, so forth. This is going to go back to being the looping SPDS, and this will be my auxiliary pad. And then we've got the 16-inch rototom with the trigger on it. And what I think is really cool, I like this product a lot. It comes in a different type, a lot of different uh, types of uh, tubes, but silicone gel. Clear. Make sure it's clear. Well, you can use black if you want to, that's fine. But what's cool about it is it fixes a trigger to your head and it's really, really uh, adhesive but it's also very rubbery so you can just pull it off and peel off the pieces of silicone. I highly recommend silicone for anybody that can't get their triggers to stick on the head. So um, yeah back to this I uh, I added the real snare because I really like the feel of a real snare. Um, I don't mind so much the bass drum but Basically these things right here just got to be real for me or else I just can't deal with it. The reason I'm using that is I don't have another uh, drum trigger pad or else I'd be using that. But for now that's cool. It's, it's better than what I was dealing with before. I wish I could play this kit for you right now but unfortunately it's past everybody's bedtime and I'm not allowed to make noise right now. So that will have to occur at a different date.